this video is probably gonna be one of the most important videos that you will be watching for a very long time. I'm gonna show you exactly step by step what to do when it comes to pushing content to get your music to a lot more people and actually building a fan base from just simply posting content. Now, I know a lot of you are probably not posting as often as you should because you don't know exactly what to post. So in this video, I'm gonna break everything down to you. So if you're ready for a lot of dope value, then subscribe to this channel right now if you have not already. Now, I'm gonna actually be completely real with you guys throughout this video. I'm not gonna hold anything back because I want you guys to be successful because I know that if you are successful, you will help other people get there as well. But before you even watch this video, make sure you check out this branding video. This is part two and this is part one. Make sure you watch part one before you watch this video because if you do not have your branding order, you won't know what to post. Just remember this, content follows branding. So before I get into some of the strategies, I just wanna go over some categories that are really popular when it comes to putting out content as an artist. So if you don't know what to put out, you can literally just follow any of these. You have the entertainment aspect. And basically the entertainment content is gonna be what will get you the most visibility because it's what people are gonna share because it's entertaining. You want to post a lot of these if you're a new artist because this is what is going to get you a lot of reach. And then you have the educational component is what is gonna get people to trust you and like you as an artist and learn who you are and the type and like what inspires you. So the education aspect is very important for building trust. And then you have documentation and that's important because people like to see the behind the scenes of you, of your journey. As an artist, this is when you get to the heart of your fans. This is when they become true, true fans and follow you wherever you go. You wanna make money as an artist? you should start posting more documenting posts because these are gonna be your true supporters who are gonna be the one buying your music in the long run. So I wonder if you notice what I just went over and think about this, this is really, really important. The three categories, you can break them down even further. One, you're entertaining people and want to get more followers with this content. Two, you're adding value to someone's life by educating them. And three, you're building trust. These are three very important things when it comes to building yourself as an artist using content marketing. I literally just gave you everything you need to know about content marketing, just right there. So yes, sharing your story as an artist and documenting the journey as well as uh, showing the behind the scenes are super important for when it comes to building a true fan base because this is how people get to know you. So now here's the fun part. Let's get into some strategies, some things you can actually start implementing right now. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is called trend surfing. And this is basically using Google Trends to find topics that are highly, highly relevant. And this is important because if you post something when something's at the hype stage, you're gonna get a lot of shares. You're gonna get way, way more shares. For example, if I was to post something about Christmas now, right before Halloween, then it's not gonna get as much shares as if I was to post content about Halloween. Because Halloween is coming up, you see that there's a spike in trends when it comes to Halloween around October. So if I post stuff relevant to Halloween around this time, then it will get a lot more shares. So use Google Trends to find trends that or topics that are highly relevant. By the way, stick around to the end of this video. I'm gonna show you a cheat code to actually find the best type of content to post. What's also really good is something called content repurposing. If you make content on one platform, you can always repurpose it and use it on a ton of other platforms. For example, 
what I'm going to do with this video is I'm going to take this video and chop it into small pieces and also share it on my Instagram. You can do the same thing. You can post your music video in little bit sizes on your Instagram, your TikTok, your Twitter, your Facebook. You can take content and repurpose it and use it in different forms. Now this brings me to the next one, which is post everywhere. If you have profiles on a bunch of different platforms, post on all these platforms. Again, you want to be omnipresent and the more omnipresent you have, the more you will dominate your space as an artist by knowing the different types of content or the content strategy or categories, you can take these same content and put them on all these different platforms. This is how you grow in multiple areas and achieve omnipresence. All right, guys, so don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below. Now you don't always have to post about you. You can also post other things. For example, you can post memes. Take theme pages, for example. Theme pages, they grow their channel by using memes. Why don't you follow the same strategy as an artist? You want more people to hear your music? Use memes, use viral content, use content that will get a lot of shares. Every single theme page on Instagram, that's exactly what they do. They find content that other people have posted and repost it on their page. They find themes that other people have created and repost it on their page. The trick is to use your own personality in the captions. Once you can put your own personality in the caption, this will make that content very unique and sync with your brand. On that note, I do want to cover content quality. Everything you post should be of high quality because if you don't post things that's not high quality, the chances of you getting that content shared is not going to be high. So you want to find content that's high quality. Now you might be asking, how do you find content that's high quality? So I actually didn't want to show you this because this is super, super valuable. Um, but I'm going to show it to you guys anyways, but look at this. The first post that I'm actually looking at is someone using a meme. Exactly what I'm talking about. They're using memes to get more reach and build personality with their fan base. So here's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to use the Instagram insights to help you optimize what you post. So basically what you do is you go to your page, you go on insights and then in the insight section, you can go down to where it says content you share. Mine says I shared eight posts. So I click the arrow right next to it. And then it brings me to my analytics. This is powerful because then you can click the reach and say, I choose follows. Now this tells me how many followers I gain per post. Now, if I analyze this, why would I post something again that only brought me three followers? I will post something that brought me the most amount of followers. So that's exactly how you use this. You could do this with followers. You could do this with shares. You could do this with comments, uh, with saves. Look, my shares. Why would I post something that only got me six shares versus something that got me 500 shares? And the ones that got me 500 shares are memes, right? So this is how to use your analytics. So when you are posting your content, you want to make sure you come back into the analytics, maybe after a week or so and look which content is performing the best. So you can do more of that. This is how you optimize your Instagram and, um, or optimize your content and grow yourself as an artist a lot faster. So that's just one strategy when it comes to using data to optimize your content. Now, if you want to know more about how to optimize your content and, uh, get more followers and get more reach, I have a music marketing course right under this video that you can, uh, become a part of. And I break down literally all the strategies when it comes to branding, content, advertising, getting press releases, literally everything is in that course. 
So go and uh, grab that course on this video. So one of my next tips is something that will set you apart and get you a lot more followers. And it's basically being polarizing. And what is being polarizing? Polarizing is basically being on being it's basically being one sided when it comes to being polarized in your content make sure you pick a side of whatever that is for me uh you can see a lot of my videos is against record labels and all for independent artists so my side that i chose is independent artists which is why uh, my channel is growing so fast because a lot of independent artists relate to my content because I'm speaking toward them. So you can do the same thing with your content, especially when it comes to your captions. However, when you are polarizing, definitely expect haters in your comment section or in your DMs. But guess what? That's only going to be a small percentage. You're going to have a bunch of people who are on your side and they're going to resonate with you and your music. So the more polarizing you are, the faster you will grow. Do not try to please everyone. You cannot please everyone. So pick a side and uh, make that known in your caption and with your content. But again, before you can even do this, you have to figure out your brand, which is why it's very important for you to watch the last video that I made, which is part one to this video. Another way to express being polarized is using Twitter. You can see a bunch of people who post tweets on their Instagram of just like a sentence or their thoughts. Um, lots of big celebrities do this and you can do this as well. Just share your thoughts on your page in the form of a tweet. This will also drive people to your Twitter. Be polarizing uh, using this method as well and you'll see a lot of people start to comment on your post because they resonate with exactly what you're doing and saying. So here's the bonus. This isn't a organic strategy. However, it's really, really cheap and it basically expedites everything for you. So you don't have to, you know, dig for content and look for um, the best performing content on someone else's page. What you can do is literally just go on Viral Spot, type in someone's username and it pulls up all their best performing content. Now, as an artist, this is important because you know that if this type of content worked for this person, it will most likely work for me as well. So if you find artists that are in a similar space and genre to you, you can use this method to uh, see what content is performing well for them and then recreate it, model it. This is exactly what influencers do and this is exactly what theme pages do. They recreate other people's content because it's performing well. It already has all the social proof. So do the same exact thing for your content. Find what's performing well for someone else and then recreate it in your own style. And this should get you tons and tons of engagement, should get you tons of reach and a lot more followers. So one last thing, I know you guys probably have a ton of questions and if you do, drop your question in the comments below and uh, I will answer it. But I know a question always pops up whenever I'm talking to some of the artists that I coach and it's always, how often should I post? And my answer is always this, uh, the more you post, the better. However, as an artist, you don't need to post as often as other people post. People generally follow you because one, they like your music. However, it is important to uh, build trust with your fan base and add value to them, which is why I went over the other categories. So as long as you're doing this, you don't have to post as often. However, if you want to uh, blow up a lot faster, the more often you post, the better. I almost forgot this one. If you really, really want to grow really fast, uh, you got to tap into other people's audiences. And the best way to do that is with collabs. The more you collab, the faster you will grow. Don't try to be selfish and try to do it on your own. You need other people to uh, help you grow. So collab with other people because they may have resources that you don't have. They may have audiences that you don't have or the connections that you don't have. 
So the more you collaborate with other artists, the faster you will grow because you're also taking uh, some of their audience or tapping into their audience as well. Think about it this way. If you post music on your own, you're only betting on your fans to share your music. But if you collaborate with another artist, you now have all your fans and all their fans who can potentially share your music. So the more collabs you do, the better and faster you'll grow as an artist. All right, so I hope you found value in this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment under this video. Every week I release two videos on music marketing, so uh, don't forget to hit that notification as well so you can be updated every single time I post a new uh, video. I actually forgot this one. Uh, another good strategy is uh, user-generated content. Basically what this is, is when someone else is dancing or performing to your music, it works like wonder. So you can actually get your friends to dance to your music.